Okay, so question one. They give us a matrix A and say solve the homogeneous system A x equals zero. So that's just going to be a straightforward set of the equation, do some Gauss reduction, right? So what's this matrix? Let's write it down. 1 minus 1, 3 minus 2. 1 minus 1, 3 minus 2. 2 minus 2, 6 minus 4. 2 minus 2, 6 minus 4. 1, 0, 5, 1. 1, 0, 5, 1. 2, 1, 12, 5. 2, 1, 12, 5. Uh, let's check that. 1, 2, 1, 2. 1, 2, 1, 2. Minus 1, minus 2, 0, 1. Minus 1, minus 2, 0, 1. 3, 6, 5, 12. 3, 6, 5, 12. Minus 2, minus 4, 1, 5. Minus 2, minus 4, 1, 5. Yes. And so the equation they wanted to solve was this matrix times a vector equals the zero vector. Okay. So, Gauss reduce. Uh, so let's start with row 2 plus row 1. Row 3 minus 3 times row 1, and row 4 plus 2 times row 1. Okay, first row is staying the same, second row is becoming 0, 0, 1, 3. Next row is becoming 0, um, well, 6 minus oh, 0 again, 5 minus 3 is 2, 12 minus 6 is 6, and then 0. Um, 0, um, 3, 5 plus 4 is 9. Okay, cool. So, oh, those all rows, rows are all multiples of each other, aren't they? We could do row 3 minus 2 times row 2, and row 4 minus 2 times, minus 3 times row 2. That'll make that both zeros. And we could also do get get rid of the thing about that pivot do row one minus row two. Okay. So then we will have row of zeros at the bottom, row of zeros above that. This uh, second line is remaining unchanged, and that first line is coming one, two, now zero, minus one. Okay. So we can read off the solutions from this, right? Yeah, it's Gauss reduced now. So it's going to be, so the vector's going to have four rows because that matrix has four columns. Ooh, it's homogeneous, so there's going to be no constant matrix. There's two pivots, so there's two free variables. Um, the free variables are uh, two x2 and x4. So 2 and 4. The remaining things are, well, for x3, we have none of this and minus 3 of that. And for x1, we have minus 2 of this and 1 of that. Okay. So that should be the solution. Okay. And then, now, that's that one done. Now the next one is give a basis for the null space of A and what is it I mentioned the null space? So the basis will be those two vectors. Um, this is 1.2, so... So basis for the null space is going to be minus 2, 1, 0, 0, and 1, 0, minus 3, 1. And the dimension is going to be 2. So there's two vectors there. Two independent vectors there. One point three. The vector v satisfies a v equals b. Write down the general solution of a x equals b, showing that what you've written really is a solution to the non-homogeneous system. So to get the general solution, you just add on the home, you add to the particular solution a v. You know. So we have if a v equals b, and so now we just want to have v plus this homogeneous solution we have. Ugh, I can't call it v again. You know, we have to make that for the homogeneous solution. Oh, actually, we used S and T, didn't we? S U plus S W T W. That'll be a homogeneous thing. And show <coughs> showing that it really is a non-homogeneous solution. We got A times that. And that'll mean you'll have A V plus S A U plus. Oh, you don't even need to bother with that. Um, 
plus SAU plus TAW equals AV plus zero. AV is just B, so plus zero doesn't change things. That's the solution. Okay, with that in mind, let me actually make some modifications here. Let me call these matrices something. So let me say this is, this is S, or should I call it? Let me call it V1 and no. Let me keep let me call it what I call it below, which is U and W. Okay. And so now I can here just say the basis is U and W and that the dimension equals two. Ah, oh, dimension equals the size of that basis. Ugh. U W basis for null space of A. So the dimension of the null space of A is two. And one point three that was general solution. So general solution will be yeah, V that V they told us about plus S U plus T W. Oh, I could say all the things like that, where S and T are real numbers, that equals the solution space. Um, it's the solution space. It's all the vectors x that solve ax equals b. Okay. And proof of that, where well, you do a times v plus su plus tw, you get av plus a times SU plus TW and from above SU plus TW equals zero so we get AV plus zero that is by I answer 1.1 1 .1. and AV plus zero is just equal then to B plus zero which is B because of what they told us okay so that proves that I should put it here that proves that that's a solution. Okay, so that's all. Maybe what only thing left to do maybe is just to check that what we got really was a solution. So our vectors were, and I do that by multiplying those vectors by the a. So vectors were minus two one. Vectors were minus two one zero zero, and the other vector. Let's do that, get to that later. So you do that multiplication, and you get to the top row. You get minus two. You get top row. You get. Minus 2 plus 2 is 0, yes. Next row, 2 minus 2, yes, it's 0. Uh, minus 6 plus 6, yes, 0. Um, 4 minus 4, yes, that's 0. Cool. And the next one, the other vector was 1, 0, minus 3, 1. 1, 0, minus 3, 1. Okay, so you get, top row, you get 1, minus 3, 2. Yes, that's 0. Next row, you get minus 1 plus 1. Yes, that's 0. Next row, you get 3... Minus 15 plus 12, yes, that's 0. Next row, you get minus 2, minus 3 plus 5, yes, that's 0. So cool. So just check. So our solutions definitely are correct. And that's it.